In the first episode of Game of Thrones, we saw how Robert Baratheon visited the tomb of Lyanna Stark, the love of his life, the woman who motivated Robert Baratheon, not only to destroy Rhaegar Targaryen in combat, but also to end up as king. If your sister had lived, would have been bound by blood. She belonged with me. Although there were different situations that provoked Robert's rebellion, the kidnapping of Lyanna Stark was the straw that broke the camel's back. But her story is not as told, and behind Jon Snow's mother, the secret of the prince that was promised could be found. In this video, we'll be discussing the missing story of Jon Snow's mother, Lyanna Stark. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. And if you want to participate in our new sweepstakes, where we will be raffling the Game of Thrones book collection, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and comment on which character in the Game of Thrones universe is the most important to you, and why. The winner will be revealed this coming February 1st. Lyanna Stark was born in Winterfell, the only daughter of Lord Ricard Stark. Lyanna had three brothers. Eddard Stark lost his life on King's Landing. Brandon Stark lost his life at the beginning of Robert's Rebellion. And the third brother was Benjen Stark, who joined the Night's Watch and saved Jon Snow more than once. It is said that Lyanna was the most beautiful of the North, dozens of men tried to ask for her hand, but her father had promised her to Robert Baratheon. However Lyanna did not love him, she knew she would eventually have to marry him, and she knew him well since Robert was like a brother to Eddard. Lyanna had the same upbringing as the northern noble houses, knowing about the culture, art, and history of Westeros. Although the Mad King was in charge of Westeros, and the last decades of his reign showed his level of madness, the rebellion began because of an event involving Lyanna Stark. Lord Walter went, organized a tournament at Harrenhal. The undisputed winner of this tournament was a Targaryen prince that had been promised to Cersei Lannister but ended up married to a princess from Dorne, Elia Martell, with whom he had two children. However, when he saw Lyanna, such a beautiful young northern girl, he was captivated. What happened next would be the basis for the destruction of the Targaryen reign. Rhaegar Targaryen, after winning the tournament, gave the crown of winter roses to his wife Elia but gave the crown of love and beauty to Lyanna. This caused outrage among the Starks and especially Robert Baratheon, who took the action as a lack of respect for his engagement to Lyanna since Rhaegar was married. The rumors of a rising rebellion began then, against a king who was obviously going mad. Ares was becoming increasingly paranoid, to the point of thinking that his own son Rhaegar was going to dethrone him. Rhaegar, as we mentioned in a previous video, had other interests. He wanted to create songs and also research the prophecy of the prince that was promised. It is here that he decides to escape with Lyanna, abandon his wife, and disappear. Rhaegar did this possibly because he wanted to escape from his duties as heir to the throne, and live a simpler life with the woman he loved. However, in the north, they did not believe that Lyanna left of her own free will, and thought that Rhaegar had abducted her. The Stark brothers traveled to King's Landing to complain to Ares. The Mad King then condemned Bran Stark to death. This brought forward Robert's rebellion and eventually, Rhaegar and Lyanna were found. Lyanna lost her life during Jon Snow's delivery, while Rhaegar lost his life in a battle against Robert. Lyanna asked Ned to promise her to keep the secret of Jon's identity. You know him. You have to protect him. Promise me, Ned. Promise me. Promise me, Ned. The reason Lyanna named Jon, Aegon Targaryen is because her father Rhaegar thought Jon was the prince that was promised. Ned Stark took this secret to his grave. 
Meanwhile, the Lannisters ordered the mountain to end the lives of Elia Martell and her children, the two sons of Rieger. This was Tywin's gift to the new King Robert. King Robert was pleased, even though they were children, they were the offspring of the man he hated the most. However, Ned, who knew that John was a Targaryen, decided to walk away from the crown. He did not accept the barbarity that had been committed with these children, and he saw how the hatred of the Targaryens blinded Robert. The great love that Robert Baratheon had for Lyanna turned into a deep hatred for the Targaryen, so he decided to eliminate the cultural traces of the House of the Dragon from King's Landing, hiding even the bones of the dragons in dungeons. And he ended up married to Cersei, the woman who had been promised to Rieger in the first instance. We could say that the love between Lyanna and Rieger was sincere for as long as it lasted, but the consequence of this love was the destruction of the Targaryen family. It is said that Lyanna was similar to Arya, she had an adventurous spirit and did not depend on anyone. She was not a damsel in distress that Robert had to rescue. Lyanna lived as she wanted, with the one she loved until the end of her days. She defended love over duty. In her case, love was the death of duty, a theme that accompanied John her son throughout his life. As a disturbing fact, during the long night, when the tombs of Winterfell were opened and the dead walked in the name of the Night King, it is very likely that Lyanna's body was walking and fighting in Winterfell. As well as the other family members who had lost their lives and were buried on Winterfell. This is undoubtedly an interesting story that shows us how love between two people can cause a war, and how hatred can blind even the best king. Tell me what do you think about Lyanna Stark's story? Would you like to see more about the development of this character, and the story of Rieger and Lyanna on screen? And if you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven. You know he did. You have to protect him. Promise me that. Promise me. Promise me that.